Okay. What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? Okay. What's up, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully really awesome. Um, let me just give me a second, like, get things popping over here. So what's up? How was everybody's, um, how was everybody's 4th of July, dude? Was it lit? You guys see some chill fireworks or what? Was that two days ago? Yeah, the 7th. Six, oh no, that was actually during the week. We already did that. Dude, yeah, people have been firing off fireworks like crazy in my um neighborhood, dude. <laughs> it's like all the old people in my neighborhood are so pissed. But it's pretty cool. Like the a guy a couple doors down from me has a, a serious arsenal. He's been like firing off these like mortars and stuff. It's it's been awesome to watch. Um so what's up everyone? What's up, Leo? What's up, a boss? What's up, study till I pass out? What's up, Rusum? Yeah. You raged on DeepMind? What happened, a boss? Did it get deeper? Am I, dep <laughs> Am I depressed? I don't think I'm depressed. If I am, then this is a pretty, pretty contented depression. Yeah. So, um, and I'm also kind of listening to music on my headset, so I'm also just kind of like in a super chill mood. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a lot of work, for sure. What's up, Rafid? Um, okay. So yeah, let us uh, let me just address what's on this page. So yeah, one week till DeepMind gets deeper. So I still need to make more. I need to make another dungeon, and I need to make a couple more floors, and then it'll be ready to rock. Um, so I've actually gotten a bunch of emails. Yeah, I, I guess I am a little tired. What can I say? I've actually gotten a bunch of emails of people who completed DeepMind, and I'm so pumped for you dudes. I'm like... Yeah, good for you, man. Because if you can pound out 58 questions, oh, yeah, 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 58, and then it's going to go to question mark, question mark, question mark, yeah. So right now it's at 58, and I've been, like, getting some a lot of really good emails from people who got to the bottom of it. Um, I'm really, really pumped about it. It's been really awesome to see um, people who have, like, I don't know what you who grinded i guess I, I don't even know how do you guys describe how to get to the bottom of it because people have like also emailed me being like i got to 56 and then i died and then i raged <laughs> and i could just i totally relate dude because i'm currently playing a game where you don't there are no save points um so yeah it's very similar to that and have you guys seen um have you guys seen getting over it that game um yeah have you guys seen uh that game getting over it i'll write it down people like stream it all the time just because of all the rage quits that happen um that's kind of like what i'm talking about um okay so uh bad news for me you told your mom about me well that's okay tell your mom i say hey um confused on how to do it oh no april what 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 was it in the dungeon that that um <laughs> yeah that's interesting so april what what happened in the dungeon man maybe i could give you like a key card she said that watching me is a waste of time well if studying for the shsat is a waste of time then i, I can't really i can't really say anything about that um if you know some people just value studying it um, yeah, it could be that she just wants you off on the internet, whatever. Just more time spending in real life. Didn't get how to fire the gun. Space bar. Here, April, send me... Ugh, dang. Oh, good. Well, I mean, you you finished it. You crushed it, so congrats anyways. Uh, Damaris, if you send me an email and um, you correspond, I'll give you a key card to get deeper into the mine if you want to give it another shot. Um, so can you please explain? Oh yeah, uh, DeepMind is a, is a game that I made on my website that I constantly shill. Um, if you go to this website, then you can you can play this game. It's free, of course. I'll say, see you later, Yeda. I, I hope you can still continue studying for the SHSAT, man. Um, okay, so I did want to start with a little bit of ELA today because I actually did um, my prep. I actually did prep for the session rather than just playing PUBG. So, so we can actually start with ELA. Um, so, okay, let's see. All right, so this is a, a very short story that I pulled up um, that I'm interested in you guys doing. Um, let me get it so it fits on the whole screen. 
Okay, hold on. I just accidentally stretched it. All right, cool. There it is. All right. So check this out. Bang. Here's the story I want to talk about. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about it. So actually, let me pull this over here. All right, cool. Cool. So the first thing I want you guys to do is just to read this. <laughs> Henry Pan, you decided to fight the Devastator for fun. Uh, okay, we can get to that question. Oh, you want me to pick the font, Pierre? Okay, I can do that, dude. Um, let's see. So, okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. What's that on my other tab? You don't get to know. <laughs> you don't get to know what's on my tabs. It's actually just the other story, so it's not as juicy as you would hope. All right, so guys, just read this story really quick so we can talk about it. I'll give you guys like two minutes. <laughs> what can I tell you, Rusev? Getting secondhand embarrassed. <laughs> right, I'll give you guys like a minute more just to finish reading, and then we'll go into what I want to ask you. Uh, and if it just helps me in the chat, just can you comment done when you're done reading with it so I know who's done or not? Because I can't actually look at you, homies. That's okay. Typing is is hard. Okay, April's all done. That's okay. There are fast readers and slow readers. This isn't a reading speed section, it's a reading comprehension section. Okay, Henry's all done, Damaris is done. Cool, give you guys a little bit more time. Daphne's done, Leo is D-O-N-E. My dude, yeet, e. <laughs> okay, Laurel's done. Laurel, what's up, what's up? A boss is done. Good to see you, boss. Pierre, okay. I'll give you 10 more seconds. That's okay, I'm slow too. Luke is done. Luke, you got, did, is, are you the same Luke that emailed me about getting to the bottom of DeepMind? Is that the same Luke? Okay, so let's go over this. So, my question to you, bros. To my, to my homies in the chat. Um, I should have labeled these. Let's just say this is A. Let's say this is B, C, and then D. Oops. What does mirth mean? I can't tell you, bro. It's like one of those things where if you don't know, like you don't have a dictionary or a phone with you, so you can't like look it up. You just gotta like do your best to try to put it in context, even though it's the last word of the passage or whatever. Yeah, I do sound weird today. I don't know what it is. I feel like something's like, I like ate too much pasta for lunch or something. <laughs> Leo, <laughs> stop giving it away, bro. That's actually really sharp. Uh, pat yourself on the back, Leo. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Answer in the chat as usual, for sure. Nah, go ahead and answer it. What's up, Elizabeth? It's cracking. 
Oh, you can say your answer, bro. You can you can write your answer. It was like a uh, spaghetti with meatball left over, like cold spaghetti with meatball. I didn't even care. I was just like, let's do it. Okay, April thinks it's C. Morris agrees. Cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 Crushing it. Okay. Maybe that was too easy. But there's a man. There's a, actually a mad, like, honest reason why I gave you guys this. So check it out. I'm going to highlight it. I think you guys can see that when I highlight it. Yeah, totally. So what is going on? And the style of question that they're asking is something that is not actually written in the text. All it says is that they detailed um, that a state had been burglared, right? That's all they get, right? And then we get that, um, let's see, in fairness, all the streets had similar names and we know that when he rolled up it said Cam cranford in the tree right but it doesn't actually say why they messed it up or why this lady is like i can assure you no one broke into my house homie they never say what what happened but actually what happened was that the police sergeant or whatever messed up the street name it must have been smith drive instead of smith street and the only reason why he knew that chick's name going into it is because for some reason this creepy woman burned her last name into a tree. <laughs> it's terrifying. Uh, and so that is actually not written, but it can be inferred. That's what we're going for, bros. All right, one more, and then we'll get to some math. And I saw you guys want to talk about eighth and ninth grade math. We can definitely hit that up. All right, here it is. Here's the question. Or here's, the, here's what I want you guys to, to look at. Um, let me get rid of this so you can read this whole thing. Like, duh. All right. Go for it. I'll give you guys like a minute and a half. All right, so yeah, just write down in the chat when you're done. <laughs> Why do you get creepy ghost stories? I don't know, because that's what I was able to find when I was doing prep for this. Geek Fleeks in action. Wiz go away. Okay, Daphne's all done. You guys, are you guys like in a room together? Are you guys all finished at the same time? That's like kind of, kind of weird. Okay, cool. So you guys now know the passage. So what I'm going to ask is this question. Oh, you guys are all at a SHSAT party? That's pretty lit. C isn't. 
Nah, C's finished. It ends in a preposition, but... Okay, so Damaris thinks it's A. Laurel thinks it's... Oh, no, Damaris thinks it's a party. Laurel thinks it's A. April thinks C isn't finished. It says, became a ghost that works in the city over. So he's a ghost and he works in the other city. This one's tough because it doesn't say. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to get to you guys, is they're going to ask you questions that aren't necessarily even in the text. Rusem thinks it's A. In the city over? Just like in the next city, you know? That's like another way to say the next city. Neil thinks it's A. <laughs> He's pretty confident. April thinks it's C. Leo's with A on it. Luke agrees. Jane's got D. Um, Trump's got A. Okay. Rusum, A. Okay. All right, so let's go over this. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people would need to reread this just because it's like, what? What happens? Okay, so let me hit some actual, like, some, some what I think is, like, relevant points in this. Okay, so aftermath of a serious headlong collision, two buses, ten lives on the spot. Dang. Fire brigade was called to pull the bodies. Identification wasn't easy because of the state of the corporate corpses. Okay, that's important. Yet a woman identified one of the corpses as her brother. He was an auto mechanic. His toolbox was close to his body. Okay. So she rushed home. She told everybody. They went to the mortuary. They saw their son's body with his toolbox. Right. And it wasn't a mistaken identity because his name was written on the toolbox. So it's this corpse. And next to it is a toolbox with your name on it. And they see it. They're like, oh, man. Yeah, I can't believe he's dead. So when they actually go to bury his body, they can't find him. That corpse, quote unquote, that they thought was his is gone. Right. And his toolbox is gone, too. So that is the pivotal part of this question. Because if his corpse has disappeared and he took the toolbox with him, then that could potentially mean that this corpse up here, um, this, this wasn't mistaken because it was a toolbox. Maybe that wasn't actually him. Maybe it was just a body next to his toolbox with a name on it, and he was so messed up from the bus crash that... They just thought it was him because he was holding next to his toolbox. But the toolbox is gone. They can't find the body that looks like him anymore. And so they're like, what is going on? Then years pass. A woman from the village with a mechanic die saw him working in another garage. And they're like, oh my God, dude, you're still alive? Dude, I'm going to tell everybody, right? I'm going to tell everybody that. And... um from that day on, the mechanic failed to come to work and has never been seen again. <laughs> so the question is, you know, what is actually going on? Now, if he was a ghost that works in the city over, just like this uh, C says, then would the director of the shops know that, his, that a ghost was gone? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was actually a ghost... Would the director of the shop hire that ghost and expect him to show and work on time? Yeah. So what basically happens in this thing is that this dude gets into an accident. They think he's dead. And he's like, okay, now is my time. Now is my time to... So that then generally we called the ghost of an auto mechanic. However... Just looking at the actual context, I think they might not mean real ghosts like Casper, but the real answer there. Um, are you guys furious about that? <laughs> Honestly cannot handle streaming and having an Internet Explorer window up. <laughs> it's, it's like that. It really is like that. Um, so hopefully that's better. Hopefully we're not dropping as many frames anymore. Um, so yeah, the answer was C or the answer was a, that he's a, a real person that, but he just leaves. Right. Um, yeah. And that, that only can be inferred from it. Bring the answers back. Oh, the answer is a, yeah. The answer is a that, um, hold on. Where is it? It says use the accident to hide that he is running away. That's the answer for that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Neil, I would buy a 2019 Mac 
um i would <laughs> but i got a good one i got a uh i have a 2007 no 2000 and 2015 mac so it's old but hey she's she's still running man she's still running yeah so daphne the reason why it feels so weird is because back in the day when they had shsat verbal questions they'd basically be like what job did the ghost have and you'd have to look and be like oh he's a mechanic be like how many people died in the crash oh look 10 where now it's like what do you think is actually going on behind the thing yeah exactly why would he run away bro i don't even know i don't even know why he'd run away so yeah okay cool so uh yeah that was the little ela just to start it off just like a quick 20 minutes of ela because um you know what i mean uh the other answer makes sense for us and i don't believe in the supernatural but those make sense yeah 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 it, that's just a hard passage but we're going to be doing more hard passages like that so you can get the idea of where you can infer things and when you can't infer things all right so rusum's dropped a question in the chat if 3x minus y equals 12 then what is a to the x over two to the x, two to the y. I mean, <laughs> Damaris, that's funny. Uh, yeah, we can go over this one, but this is um, this is actually a very um, yeah. No, I don't have any pri I don't have any classes. That was a class from like my website. I told you I do classes. That was like a class, and a kid was waiting for me in a class. I was like, oh, dang, that's why I had to run out of the stream. Um, Okay, so no, I don't have any private tutoring to do today. I do have a meeting later in the evening, but we can we can kick it on the stream for a while. Um, yeah, I, I have a couple private private tutoring. I had one earlier today actually, but um, I'm gonna have one a lot later in the evening. Okay, so uh, Rusem dropped the question in the chat, but it's actually a very difficult question. Pardon, it's actually a really difficult question. Um, so yeah, I mean, just we'll 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 go over how to do it, but I mean, it's like one of those that are just really tough. So basically, what he says is, if three x minus y equals twelve, then what is the value of eight to the x? I guess I don't need to do that. Eight to the x over two to the y. That's the question. Um, so this is actually a super, super tough question because no, we've talked uh, the other day, uh, I think, about when you have something like this of like X to the 12th over X to the third. The way that you do that is you say, oh, they have the same base. So I can say that that's like X to the 12 minus the third and that's X to the ninth. And that makes sense because if we have something like X to the fourth over X squared, or actually let's make this to the fifth over x squared. That's like saying x, 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 x over x, x. And then you just subtract the two from down below and you're left with the three. And so that's why it's the same thing as x of five minus three. Okay, so that's the concept, that's, that's what's up. That's the concept, okay? What this is, is testing a little step beyond that concept. Hold on a second. I thought I could like, listen to music in the background and also talk to you guys, but it is not working out. So we want to be able to do this subtraction thing, but notice that both of these are X's. You can only do that when the base is the same, right? Oh, I still don't get the question that I send you. Oh, you know, let's do that on the stream, Leo, because that's a really great geometry question. And that's, that could be even ninth grade for all you guys out there too. So we can't actually do our subtraction until these bases are the same. So let me show you guys a little, let me show you a little trick that you can do. So we got eight to the X over two to the Y. So I want to make this eight a two. So how do I do that? What is eight in terms of two and specifically thinking of exponents? Now we know that two times two equals four, two times two times two equals eight. So another way to say eight is like saying two to the third to the power of x over two to the power of y. Are you guys with me on this one? See what I mean? Because yeah, th this is like a very tough thing to do, but eight is the same thing as saying two to the third. So that's all I'm doing, right? 
cool. So we're here. Let me rewrite it. We got two to the third to the X all over two to the y now how do we do an exponent to an exponent that's kind of tough right well what if we break it down into simpler terms what if i said x squared to the third well another way i could write that is x times x to the third another way i could write that is x times x twice three times and since it's all multiplication we can take away the we can take away these parentheses right so x times x times x times x times x times x how many x's are there six so whenever we have a number to another number we multiply the exponents so this x squared to the third is x to the sixth this two to the third to the x is actually two to the three x all over two to the y. Now remember, if we have x squared to the third, that's x to the sixth. But if we have x squared times x to the third, that's x to the two plus three, that's x to the fifth. All right, keep these two concepts clean in your mind. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, keep, keep it clean. Okay. So do, 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 um, uh, okay, so we're here, right? So now that our bases are the same, just like this over here, now that our bases are the same, we can do our subtraction, right? <laughs> yeah, why block Neil? Neil's the man. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna do our subtraction, our common bases of two, three X minus Y. So this is what we have, and we're done. We're done simplifying. You know what I'm saying? So what do we do? Well, notice that in Rusum's question, we're given this little bit of this. Why? You got to ask yourself, why do they give you the information they give you? On this next problem, I'm going to ask you, why are they saying it's a quarter circle? Why do they even bring that up? You know what I mean? So we need to now include this here. Notice, 3x minus y, 3x minus y. And what does 3x minus y equal? Well, 12. So every time I see a 3x minus y, that's like saying 12. So our answer, to the 12th, yeah. <laughs> she sees it, she sees it, yay. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what's up. That is what's up, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Two to the twelfth. Do you guys have any questions about this? Because I want to go to Leo's question. Um, I want to go to Leo's question just because it was a really good one. Uh, Leo, can you? I, I know what the diagram looks like. Can you put the text of the question? Can you like copy paste that bad boy into the um, into the chat? Um, <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time, Daphne. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. The book's going to explain it in a more complicated way, dude. It's my job to cut through that crap. Um, yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. It is satisfying. Uh, my guess is he got that from an SAT book. Am I right, Rusem? Because that, that just smells like an SAT question. Is it? Um, let's see. Okay. So Leo had a question in the chat, or he actually emailed me. Um, so uh, I, I want to do this problem. To turn the equation to y equal and subset that for y in the expression and simplify. What? Ugh. That's the grossest explanation. Is that an SAT book, dude? Yeah, I don't know why they're bad at explaining. I think that would be an SAT book though. All right, whatever. Let's go to this question that Leo dropped. Um, I thought it was a really good one. I love geometry questions. I get to use my crappy ruler. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Mm. Um, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 
and so we'll be in the middle. Ah, thanks, Leo. Um, okay. So let's see here. Oh, thanks. I love these pens, dude. I super love these pens. Okay. So in the figure above, A, B, oops. The figure above, A, B, C, D is a square that has been divided into four smaller squares, each of which has a quarter circle cut out of it. So I think it looked like something like this. I'm pretending I'm good at drawing quarter circles. Was the shaded region on the inside of this, Leo, or was it on the outside? I forget. Um, but um, let's see. If the perimeter of the square is 24 centimeters. Okay. So I was inside. Okay. Four centimeters. What is square? All right, cool. So uh, let me zoom out so y'all can see this. All right, so we have a square, A, B, C, D, that is divided into four squares. Each of these squares has, an half cir or has a quarter circle cut out of it. In terms of pi, so pi should be in your answer, what is the area of the shaded region? Uh, I can't put it on video because it won't zoom out enough, but I'll give you guys like two minutes, so go ahead for it. Yeah. Remember to have fun, guys. Remember, always have fun. If you aren't like smiling and like laughing while you're doing these problems, well, you're probably pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, you're actually thinking about it, you probably should not be laughing while you're doing these problems. Ooh, that's, a good, that's a good question. Thanks for the question, Leo. Uh, well, what you have, no answer choices, bro. No answer choices. Okay, so we got our first one in the gate here. 36 minus 9 pi. Um, and that is from April. Jane. What's up, Jane? Always rocking the stream. Uh, study till I pass out. Just give it to me in terms of pi, just like the previous one, bro. And to answer your question, Davney, yeah, it's in expression form. <laughs> That's not how you spell pi. <laughs> I'll take it, Daphne. <laughs> Neil, I got you, bro. I'll never forget. Neil Gaming, you got the, did you get to the bottom too of Deep Mine, or is that just me thinking? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's go over this one. So, just like I warned you guys, and we got it too. Just like I warned you guys, you have to ask yourself why do they give the information they give. So why do we say that these are quarter circles? Why does it matter? Is there no equation for this? That's actually right. We actually don't know the equation for a curved diamond like that. 
So our best bet is to find the area of these quarter circles. Now, four quarter circles equals one big circle. So that's gonna help us out a little bit. Now, if the, if the perimeter is 24 centimeters, that means the four side lengths need to equal 24, divide both by four, and we're gonna get a side length of six. So we know that that's six, and that's six, and they're all six. So it's very easy to find the area. The area of just the square straight up is gonna be 36. Cool, that's what we got. Now we need to find the area of these things going on here. Well, this length is here is three, and this length is three and three. And so what is a radius with a circle of three? Well, remember that the area is pi r squared because it's in square foot or whatever, so we're gonna use the squared equation. So the area is gonna equal pi three squared. The area is gonna equal nine pi. So this nine pi, now the whole square isn't shaded. It's actually covered by these four half circles or quarter circles or whatever. So our answer isn't just 36, it's gonna be that 36 minus nine pi, which everybody seemed to get. But that's how this one goes down, right? Cool. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep, so that's how this one goes down. That actually, you guys all super crushed that one. I, I thought you guys weren't going to, to, to crush that one. But yeah, really good job. Just keep in mind that it's the, all the information they give you is important. All of it is. So if they give you a piece of information, don't just throw it away. Be like, what? why did they give? Why did they give me this piece of information? Okay, let me uh, whip up a problem for you guys that I think actually will illustrate this point. So just chill for like two secs. Am I ready? Let's see. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, Neil, you're absolutely right. You do gotta finesse problems and be precise. That's really good advice. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Jane, that cracks me up. Yeah, we are grinding. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Neil on that one. Uh, my sign, I'm actually a cusp, so I'm like both signs. Um, and Laurel is 69 years old, so. Laurel, you're a little old to be studying for the SHSAT, just to give you a heads up. <laughs> okay, here's the problem, let me write it out. Actually, nope, I don't like that one. Uh, hold on, give me two more seconds. Okay, all right, let me switch it up. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up, dude, that's so funny. Okay, here we go. Um... Um, all right, bros, here's your question. Minute and a half, go for it. Jane, the answer is not 42. <laughs> Dude, Alicia, I go through so many pieces of paper. Dude, you have no idea how many pieces of paper I go through. Um, 
I just bought two of these new notebooks because we've been crushing through notebooks and they're 80 pages each and I just bought two more because we already went through it. So, what's the answer, bros? I'll give you one more minute. Remember to listen to your heart. Follow your dreams. Um, that is a six. That is a six. Can't believe it's going on. What do you mean? Uh, you actually, Daphne said nine first. You did put the equation down though, which is good. Yeah, you guys absolutely crushed this one. So I'm going to go through this one just really quick. Um, so, of course, I rewrite the equation as written because I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. So I'm not going to take an extra step. I'm just going to rewrite it. Now I'm going to distribute this. So 3a plus 6a plus 6b equals 81 minus 3b. Now I'm going to add 3b to each side. And I get 3a plus 6a plus 9b equals 81. I'm going to combine these two. 9a plus 9b equals 81. So here's the step that if you're confused, you can, you know what I mean? You can do it down. So you can take 9 out of each one. 9a plus b equals 81. Now I can divide. a plus b equals 9. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good job dude good job good job everyone all right so harder problems is that what you guys need i guess you guys do oh let me pull up my um let me pull up my my holy grail of shsat problems and see if i can get something to to throw you guys a little bit let's see let's see if i can trick you guys let's see if i can trick you guys um ooh, that might be good. No, I think that's too easy probably. Where's my finesse? Where's my finesse section? Oh, it's still under here. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, this is section. Yep. Yep. You guys are already on it. All right, see if I can get you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay. I mean, you're dripping in finesse? Tripping is like not finesse, so. Yeah, hey, if you guys get this right, I'll let you play DeepMind for free. How about that? Um, <laughs> so, all right, hold on. Let me write this out because there's answer choices that go with this one. And I think we might have done this one, but just holler if you didn't. I think we have done this one, actually. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll do it again.
Okay. I think we've done this one. If we did this one, it, the, yeah, that was a joke, Daphne. Deep Mind is free. <laughs> yeah, it's a joke, guys. Deep Mind's already free. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Icy Boy, we just did reading comp at the very beginning of the uh, stream. You just missed it, man. But if you rewind, you can hit it up. Yeah, Deep Mind's always free, dude. I would never charge you guys for that. So you guys can play, of course, obviously, for free, always. I was just, I was just juggling with you guys. Okay, so here's the question. Um, cool, I'll give you a minute and a half. Remember to have long, guys. Yeah, and always uh, leave a like if you like studying during the summer. <laughs> Static, static. I'm from, I'm the, from future. the future, where all, where all specialized high schoolers decided, decided through robot, robot, bad, bad. Robot, robot, bad, bad, bad. That's okay. That's okay. Can just, can just the question. The question. Sorry for the Sorry static. For the static. My, my, it sucks. It sucks. We did do we this, did do this. Jane, Jane. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so yeah, does so that mean you shouldn't get the right answer? Right right for real. For real. Yeah, I see, boy, this is like, it happens once a stream where my mic just totally decides to die. Um, yeah, so hopefully the static stops. I've wiggled every single cord, so <laughs> that's basically all I can do. Okay, it's been a minute and 40, and I haven't gotten a single answer. Laurel's coming in with C. Jane, where you at? <laughs> or actually, I'll just do it over here. I'm dumb. All right. Okay. It stopped. Oh, good. Yeah. So, guys, it's been like two minutes. Let's get some answers in here. Ah, this is difficult. But this is actually a kind of a, like a, a test prep secret. Um, like tutors are very different than teachers. Like teacher is there to like tell you how to do things. Tutors are, are here to tell you how to beat something. So I'm going to show you guys how to beat this in a little bit. Okay. Jane thinks it's B. So Jane, you better be right, man. We already did this one. Okay. So let's go over this. So one thing I'd like for you guys to notice, and I want you to be aware of, um, where I can take a diagnostic. Yeah, my, I think my site has the best diagnostic in the game, dude. Um, that's just me. But yeah, exactly, April. This is very, very difficult stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, Icy Boy plays. I mean, definitely hit up my website. Uh, there's a lot of material actually there. If you go to the FAQ um, and go to the, I'll scroll all the way down and go to the math section. There's like endless amount of math that you can practice. All right, Rusum thinks it's C too. All right, so let me show you guys how to do this. Okay. So, Neil, I got you, man. I got you. All right, so let's always do this. So one, this is a structure of a question that I want you guys to be aware of because if you see this, that means you can finesse it. Just like if you're like a, a con man and you see someone like, whoop the lope the dome walking down the street and like money's hanging out their wallet, you're like, I can finesse this guy. If you see this problem, or this type of structure, think I can finesse this. And what is the structure? Variables up here, variables down here, right? We got variables here, we got variables down here, right? So that means that we can pick values for the variables. What values can we pick? Well, we have some rules that we need to follow because we need to know A minus B needs to equal three over, oh, that's a, that shouldn't be a Y. Oh my gosh, no wonder you guys had such a hard problem with this. I am so sorry. Oh, dude, I need to go to bed. <laughs> okay.
Okay, I'm gonna give you guys like 30 more. I'm gonna give you guys 30 more seconds to do this only because I made a mistake. All right, good job, guys. Go, go for it. No, I'm not advocating that you steal. I am advocating that you don't have money hanging out of your wallet and walk around like do to do to do. Um, <laughs> so I just changed the problem. So I'm gonna give you guys another minute to do this one. Yeah, I, I'm. For all of you who said it wasn't possible, pat yourself on the back. You are correct. Yeah, I will give you guys time now. I know. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. That's just that's just how it goes, man. <laughs> I'm. These are all off the top of my head, and I just had a little typo. Okay, Jane still saw seven. She says B. Very interesting. Now, uh, Jane, can, do you mind saying why you got B? Damaris thinks it's B now. Um, Henry thinks it's B. All right, a lot of people coming to it now. Laurel. Alicia. Rusim. Good job, everybody. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Good job. April. Where's Neil so I can not write his name? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right, you guys all crush this. Okay. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you... Yep. Yep. Right. So, all right, Neil, I got you, bro. So, Jane actually broke it down in the chat really nicely. There's a little bit of typo, but yeah, I can't blame her for having a typo because obviously this problem was a typo. If you match numbers and denominators, because we know for a fact that this A minus B needs to equal three and B by itself is going to equal seven. Now this could be reduced, but why, why even said that, say that it's reduced? Let's just pretend that it is. So if B is seven, then what minus seven is three? Well, 10 minus seven is three. So we know that A equals 10, B equals seven. Um, so this would actually, oh, right. So that's why you get A, this B, right? So that's what's up. Um, yeah, really good. Okay, that was, yep, Icy Boy Plays has a good explanation on that too. Yep, it was a righto. <laughs> All right, harder. Harder, harder. Um, they're coming. Just you wait. <gasps> Ooh, that was such a good question. What was that question? Ooh, hold on a second. Let me let me look through my um my old book and see if I can find this question. Hold on, give me two seconds, bros. I gotta pull up my email. Cause I just did this question earlier today. I was like, ooh, this is a really good one. I bet I could trick some kids with that. Cause that's all I'm thinking. I spent all my time like, how do I trick these dudes? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Got to switch accounts really quick. Ooh. Got a, ooh, got a good deal for a flight. I might take a flight soon. Yeah, have you guys done any like summer vacations? I have not done a single vacation. I've been so lame. I've just been eating pizza. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> kind of a joke, but not actually really. Hold on. Um, okay. It's loading up. Yeah. Okay. Let me get a clean piece of paper so we can get popping on this. Oh my gosh. This is taking forever. Okay. There's that. Oh. Ah, here it is. Okay, let me write this problem out. I think you guys are going to like this one, so just give me a second in the chat or whatever.
Almost done, bros. Um, and this is absolute value. So if you don't remember absolute value, try to think back now. Just means whatever is inside the parentheses will be turned into the positive version of it no matter what. Okay. Dude, this is a good question. I hope y'all ready for it. Y'all ready for this? Let's see if the chat's ready for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it why must they be equal? Oh gosh. Different vision problems. Um Yeah, April, just send me an email. Um we can do that. Yeah, it the ratios are the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One's in a lifetime deal to play deep mine. <laughs> okay, so here's the question that I want you all to answer. Um, yeah, April, if you you can just email me and I got your back. Don't even sweat it. All right, so here's the question. Two different points on a number line are both six units from point coordinate negative five. The solution to which of the following expressions gives the coordinate for both points? Go. Remember to have fun. Um, <clears throat> that's okay man we'll, we'll be going over this so just take another minute to see if you can make heads from tails on this guy <clears throat> so in about a minute I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a hint About 10 more seconds. Okay, so what this question is asking, right? I guess that's like the big kind of thing. Excuse me. Um, okay, so here's what the question's asking. We have a number line just like this. And then we have point negative five. And two different points on the number line are both six units from negative five. So in this direction, and in this direction, okay. So we have one and 11, and that's gonna be our two points here. So that is going to be our x, because what it's saying is the solution to which of the following expression gives us the coordinates. So the solution would be solving for x. So that means that we need to find an equation where x could equal negative 11 and where x can equal 1. Okay? So does that make sense to you guys? Are you guys on the boat? Can we kick off from harbor? Or should we put down anchor for a little? Uh, I'm done with this analogy. Or should we just chill on this for a little bit? <laughs> oh, Henry, you threw an answer in? My bad, dude. I got you. Got you, fresh. So do you guys catch what I'm saying so far? Because X needs to equal negative 11 and 1, right? Because those are our two points. Right? Does that clear things up? 
Gruesome's on the boat. You got a C. <laughs> not wearing a life, not wearing a life vest because you like to live dangerously. <laughs> I always hate that when they when you go on a boat and they make you look like wear a life vest. I always feel like such a dork. Like, can you wear a life vest and seem cool? You know what I mean? Like, can you can you look cool and wear a life vest? That's that's the question. Um, and my answer, I think, is no. Even though they're safe and you're supposed to wear them. See you, Daphne. Um, no, I don't have to tutor after this. That's why I'm chilling. Uh, I do have to, like, I can't go totally, totally long. I, I have, like, a meeting later, but, yeah. So, one of these equations will result where x could be negative 11 and 1, right? Oh, how, how I, I've been saying Damaris. Is that wrong? <laughs> Dude, Henry's on a boat on a raft. The boat is on a raft. Sorry, Neil, you already said C, player. Lifeboats are for cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so we need to find an equation where x can equal negative 11 and 1 right that's it so let's plug it in here so it would be negative 11 minus 6 absolute value of that equals 5 negative 11 minus 6 is negative 17 equals 5 the absolute value of 17 Ooh, this doesn't work so we know it's not d right off the bat because we can just plug in the answer and we know it doesn't work now what about c does that work well, negative 11 plus 6, negative 11 plus 6, the absolute value of that needs to equal 5. Um, that's going to be a negative 5. Okay, so this looks like it's pretty solid. Let's check the other one, because then it would be 1 plus 6 equals 5, absolute value of that. Absolute value of 7 equals 5. 7 does not equal 5. So we know it's not C. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the answer is D. Oh, is it D? Did I do it wrong? No, it's not D. Okay, so then let's go up to B. Um, negative 11 minus 5. That absolute value needs to equal 6. That would be negative 16. You guys see where this is going. So let's try it now. Negative 11 plus 5. Absolute value needs to equal 6. Negative 6 equals 6. 6 equals 6. Checks out. Then we have 1 plus 5. Absolute value needs to equal 6. Absolute value of 6 equals 6. That's going to check out. Yeah. A's right. Good job, bros. Um, yeah. And so is there another way to come to this solution? The answer is actually no. Because... You could, I mean, you could solve each of these equations. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say no right away. You could solve each of these equations, but it actually is way more difficult to solve it because with absolute value, you actually have to solve it for straight up x plus five equals six. You also have to solve x plus five equals negative six. That's because if negative six is here, just like that, it's gonna equal six anyways, and we're good to go. So that's why we're gonna get our two answers. We have to split it off like that. And then once we get to town, we could subtract five, subtract five, we could see x equals negative one. There's one of our points. Wait, or x equals positive one. That's one of our points. And then we subtract five, subtract five, x equals negative 11. That's another one of our points. So yeah, you could do it algebraically. Jane did it algebraically? Two. Snaps for Jane. Uh, but you did get it wrong, Jane. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so if you did it algebraically, thumbs up to you. But also, you know, I guess um, just thumbs up to you, um, even though you're a little bit wrong on this one. <laughs> All right. Um, kind of, Jane. Yeah, kind of. Okay, let's see if I can get you another hard problem. I only have a couple of problems left into me, so I don't want to give you something too uh, crazy. Ooh. Uh, I think we've done that one already, too. We've done all my... I'm running out of problems, bros. Ooh. It's a good one. Okay, let me do this problem. Give me like, give me like uh, 10 seconds to write this down. Okay. Ooh, this is really good.
This one is so good. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so when are we ending today? I need to leave it a bit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know when we are going to end today. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, maybe just a couple more problems. All right, so here's your question, bros. Which of the following equations is true for the value of y always being greater or equal to no, negative 1? Always being... So what I want to know is which of these equations is y always going to be greater or equal to negative one? Hard question, but you got it. <laughs> yeah, three hours later. Three hours later, I'm running out of problems. Ugh. <laughs> well, this is a hard one. I think you might have stumped you guys. No, there's only one answer that works. You just have to think yourself, can you think of a value for x that makes y less than negative 1? Damaris, how am I supposed to say your name, dude? I don't want to keep pronouncing it wrong. Uh, yep, that is the absolute value of x, Henry. Yep, if it's straight up and down like that. Okay, you guys like a couple more seconds on this. Icy boy. Icy, he's an icy boy. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah. Okay, so let's go over this bad guy. So why is this hard? Because we have to try all these different values of X to see which one works. Throw your name in there, Henry. Throw your name in there, April. Luke, you didn't even answer me, man. Did you get to the bottom of Deep Mine, or is that a different one? Yeah, Jane came in here. All right, very nice. Yeah, actually, April has a really good point. Why not try zero for X? See if you can break the equation there. Now we can try five for X. We can try negative three for X, but also zero and one have really weird properties to them. So we might be able to use that here. So let's just bust A really quick. If Y equals the absolute value of X minus two, what if like April recommends that we have zero for X where X equals zero? Well, then it's Y equals the absolute value of zero minus two. Y equals zero minus two y equals negative two can't have that it's got to be greater or equal to negative one so that broke it right there so just keep in mind there's a lot of different things you can try yeah ah i see you did make it congrats luke yeah i gotta throw your name what um what font do you want luke yeah i do tutor i actually tutor quite a bit and uh so icy boy if you're thinking about getting tutoring i hope you think about me first um, that's what I always say. Um, if you are going to do tutoring, because yeah, I do do quite a bit of tutoring actually. Um, and it's just for this test. I tutor the SAT a lot, but, um, most of my tutoring is this SHSAT work. 
Um, so yeah, we know that A is bonk, screw it. B is bonk for the same reason, because if X is zero, then we have a negative two again, right? Now I'm gonna bonk D, because a lot of people are like, oh, well, D could work. Well, what if X is zero? <laughs> so that only works, right? Um, so yeah, this is what's up, because that squared will make anything positive. It doesn't matter if it's zero, zero squared, zero, that's greater than negative one. If it's negative 10, negative 10 squared is positive 100, right? So yeah, that's this, see, that's the answer to this one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. Oh, that's how you do this one. Okay, should I give you one more problem? Maybe do one more of these. Ooh, maybe one more. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll give you one more really hard one and I'll show you guys how I want you to finesse it and see if you can pull it off. So try to remember when you can finesse a problem by picking your own number. We have variables up top, variables in the answer choice. Just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, hopefully this isn't, uh... <laughs> okay, this will be the last problem. All right, here we go. Here we go, bros. Last problem of the day. Remember how to finesse it. Variables down here, variables up here. What value of X should you put? Yes, thank you, Rusum. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, guys. I'd super appreciate any help you can give. So, pick a number for x. Pick a number for x. I love staring at the wall. It's one of my favorite things, Icy Boy. He just he used to look at the wall and just check it out. and Yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah, I do. I wouldn't pick zero for X because that kind of is one of a weird numbers. Yeah, I love that, Luke. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this, so I wish I did. I, I mean, I'm about to find out, but okay. So that's two minutes. So if it's taking longer than that, that means you're not finessing it. So let me show you. Oh, Leo's in the mix now. All right. All right. So let's hit this up. I'm going to pick a value for X. I'm just going to pick a value. So I'm going to pick two for X. I'm going to find out what this equals. Four times two squared plus six times two 
all over four times two plus two. So that's gonna be four, four times four is 16, plus 12, all over eight plus two. So that's gonna be 28 over 10, okay? So that when x is two, this equals 28 over 10, okay? So, yeah, of course I remember you, Leo. And so this could be reduced, sure. We could definitely reduce this to 14 over five, but that's what this equals when x is two. So let's use the same value and find out which of these is equivalent to that. Now, if you plug in two for x here, that's gonna equal two. And two does not equal 28 over 10 or 14 over five. So we know that that's wrong. And for the same reason, we know this is wrong too, because then this would just be six. So now we actually have to break these two answer choices down. Let's start with C. That would be two minus two over four times two plus two. All I'm doing is substituting in two for x. So that'd be two minus two over eight plus two, 10. Two minus ten, two over 10, so that would be, I want this to be over 10, so that'd be 20 over 10 minus two over 10. That's gonna be 18 over 10. That is not 28 over 10, so we know that that's wrong too. So this looks like it's D, but let's check just to make sure. It would be two plus one minus two over, that's eight plus two. So it would be three minus two over 10. So it would be 30 over 10 minus two over 10. Yeah, that's gonna equal that 28 over 10. That's our right answer. Cool. <laughs> Does that blow your mind or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Laurel, did you get it? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Laurel. <laughs> yeah, Laurel got it. Okay. Good job, girl. Very nice. I think Laurel's a girl, at least. I don't know. Laurel could be a manly man. Who knows? Um, so, yeah. For these, whenever you have this structure, variables variables why not just pick a value for a variable that's like two or something like that so yeah um that's how this one is finessed that's one how this is finessed okay um You know what's crazy? It's like there's 17 likes on the video right now, but as soon as I stop streaming, like the next day, if I go back and check the video, it has like half as many likes. I don't know what happens. I think YouTube is just mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so, all right, dudes, I'm gonna take off, um, I'm gonna get out of here, but there's so much more studying you can do on my website. If you go to the FAQ and then scroll all the way down, then you can see it. Um, and Leo, to answer your question, yeah, dude, it actually is an SAT problem I just gave you guys. I like to play with you guys like that. Uh, <laughs> Laurel is a dude? Yeah, I thought Laurel was a chick. <laughs> okay, so for the last week, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, subscribe. Definitely, I'm trying to get to 1K subs. That's my goal. Um, I'm really, really trying to get this. If you guys don't have any friends who are studying for the SHSAT, definitely, definitely hit them up and let them know this channel is working on it. I'm super, super trying to get that as a goal. I'd really appreciate you guys' help on that. You guys have been awesome so far. Um, and so, yeah, there's a ton of free stuff you can do on my website. DeepMind is getting deeper in a week, okay? So if you have not gotten to the bottom, Oh, so Laurel is a girl. Damn, then perfect. That nothing. That. <laughs> Thanks, April. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just need 246 more subs. That would just be awesome. So if you have any friends who are working on it, Deep Mine is as deep it's gonna be. That's the shallowest it's gonna be. So if you want to get to the bottom, get to the bottom of that. Yeah, calling the boys. Tell them that you're studying. <laughs> yeah, but also I just want to say thank you guys so much for even just showing up to these streams. It's awesome. To... 
<laughs> it's so awesome. You guys are really great. And um, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, she's a dude. Yeah, so I guess I guess we'll never know if Laurel is a guy or a girl. I mean, maybe <laughs> maybe something in between. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she's an alien creature you know what i mean oh maybe she's an a have you guys seen these the a's these aliens check out the a's <laughs> uh you guys crack me up yeah so big thanks to everybody who's been coming to these streams they've been really fun for me too and i hope you guys are learning something um yeah subscribe way more content at tylertutor.com about two years worth of content tell your friends we're going to be hitting this hard all the way to the test until you guys show up into that room and absolutely crush it i'm so excited for you guys um but that's it for me today bros see you tomorrow at 6p